I'm back again. Guitar Center, I just can't stay away. What can I say? I need to upgrade my rig. I'm not upgrading my guitar rig with a new guitar though. That's not the rig. The rig is everything else. And we're also going to avoid amps. I'm talking little enhancements that you can take to really upgrade your tone in ways that you didn't even know possible. After you, sir. <laughs> Please, don't let us hold you up. You see everybody here at Guitar Center, they're just happy. When you walk through these doors, it's like, oh! This is a crossroads for everybody. Where do you turn when you walk into a guitar store? That way, I, I hear drums, immediately I'm out. I'm not going that way. I mean, I love drums. I just stay away from them. Guitar pedal's very, uh, very tempting. I see guitars hanging in the back. That's where I'm gravitating towards. Now, this is a problem with guitar players. I literally just told you I'm not here for guitars. And I'm <laughs> next to the guitars. I need to get away from these. We're not here for guitars. We're here for things. Strings? Strings. Yes, strings. Now, a type of guitar string that you use really defines you as not only a guitar player, but a person. So, who are you when it comes to strings? Now, this is a special string, nine and a half gauge. So I'm going in between tens and nines here. Sometimes I tune down a half step, I use tens. I like nines in standard tuning, but there's a sweet spot and apparently it's nine and a half. So not all brands make nine and a half gauge strings. Obviously Ernie Ball makes all the strings. So uh, two for 10 bucks, I'll take two. What kind of strap is really, uh, you know, it's an inflection point in your personality. Are you trying to have the loudest strap in the room? Maybe you go for something a little bright. Are you trying to be an understated grunge man? Well, then just use a piece of rope. However, somewhere in the middle, matches every guitar. Some kids playing Polyphia over there. Let's go. What's that? I heard Polyphia and I, got, I came over. Dude, I'm the biggest fan of your What's up, dude? I'm buying things to upgrade my guitar rig for a video right now. And you just played Polyphia in it. I hope that's cool with you. That's really cool, man. Dude, I literally grew up watching you, man. Like, you taught me guitar. Dude, that's amazing. That's crazy, dude. This wasn't planned. I didn't pay him to be here. Looks like we only have guitars this direction. So, while I'm tempted, we need to stay focused here. Let's move along to some guitar pedals because up to now, this isn't really an upgrade to a rig as much as it's a recommendation. I'm gonna upgrade any rig with a couple pedals. Doesn't matter what genre you play. I don't exactly know what those pedals are yet, but I know the effect that I'm going for. So we'll find the effects that I seek. When a man sits down to a table of pedals, he finds no better happiness. Nothing speaking to me over there yet. What is it about things behind glass that make me want it more than the things that aren't behind glass? Excuse me, sir. Can I open one of these uh, pedal cases here? Yeah. Hey, case. Uh, but open one pedal cases. This man's name is Case. Of course he can open a case. <laughs> He's the best case opener of all time. Uh, it's gonna be over here, the, uh, this Wampler pedal that I've heard so much about. I always thought it was Wobbler. Wobbler? This one right here is a little baby guy. Uh, it's a baby Wobbler. Yep. Rig upgrades don't have to be, you know, huge, giant things, and that's the point of this video. The cool thing about a versatile overdrive is, like I said, it's something that you can plug into a lot of different amps, different situations, different guitars. This one in particular kind of works well with single coils and humbuckers, which is why I like it. As long as you got a good pedal platform, it could be a Boss Katana digital thing, or it could be Fender. Princeton, or it could sound like that. I mean, maybe we can get it to sound like that. We should find something that sounds like that. Upgrading your rig doesn't necessarily mean perfecting your tone as much as it means having 
fun. I heard a car horn. Fender, we can find a car horn sound for our guitar rig. And you may not think that's an upgrade. Just insert messed up effect here. Maybe it's a ring modulator. Maybe it's a uh, an auto wah or a filter of some kind. I'm gonna try and find that thing, but that upgrades your rig no matter who you are. There it is. An octave pedal. That's my poison. Whether it's an Octavia, a sub-octave, some sort of blend. I'm just attracted to it. And that is just the most beautiful pedal I think ever made. Where's Case? Where's Case, my man? Case, I got another Case for you. Where is he? Case is ringing somebody up. I don't want to disturb the employees, but I do have some tone to upgrade. Hello. How's it going? What's up? Doing all right. I usually get case for this job, but I think you can also handle opening. Yeah. It's good to have a case guy and a backup case guy. Only at Guitar Center. Sparkly blue one there? Yeah. I heard a car horn and then I was like, this should be able to kind of recreate that. I don't know exactly, but I see two octave controls and two sub octave controls. Kind of like a lot of stuff going on, so. 200 bucks, I'm still under my budget of $500 to upgrade a guitar rig. Right on. And look at all this stuff I got. At this point, we have a very versatile overdrive that you can put in front of an already distorted amp or a clean amp because it has a nice gain sweep, as you'll hear. The X Factor effect, which you can substitute, but the point is it's for fun and it's special and it's not always on. We have strings that will enhance your guitar playing because you've thought about strings. And you know, maybe you've been using the same strings the whole time, point of this. Try some different strings. Maybe it'll change something for you. And finally, a black strap. I would say we need one more small enhancement before we go plug in and see what difference we can make. What would you add to any guitar rig that would make it a little bit sweeter? Here's what I have so far. Maybe like a compressor. Two, four. I can't do it. 500. I'm sorry. I think we've done it. So what better way to round out the rig upgrade than with a recommendation from a Guitar Center employee? I mean, these guys know what they're talking about. Just a Strat into a clean amp. Timeless. We'll go with our recommendation from our Guitar Center friend and start with a compressor because that is just a guitar player's pedal. It's not for anybody else, it's for us. Substance. That's what a compressor offers. Distortion is naturally compressing, so it's like, why would you use a compressor into distortion? That's where this pedal is interesting because it sort of acts like a boost as well. So we have a clean amp here and we have an overdrive pedal that I think fits into a lot of different musical situations. So starting with a gain, that's really what you're looking at when you're working with overdrive is what flavor is it? So with this Wampler pedal, it's very transparent. So you can hear a clean sound. It's almost doing what a compressor does, but it's not tightening anything as much as it's just kind of boosting up the level and adding a little girth. I think every overdrive should start right here. I like an overdrive that can almost behave like just a clean amp because if you dig in, that's what the overdrive can offer a little more comfort for a guitar player. I'm just playing clean riffs. You know, that's nice, but I kind of had to work for that. Overdrive. Any great overdrive pedal 
can really enhance the front end of an amp in a distorted phase. I don't like to push an amp too hard when I'm going into distortion, but again, this is any genre you want. You can experiment, but having a strong foundational baseline, you know, a, a good tone that you can start from and then move in different directions. This pedal offers a lot of different pathways. Might I just add, uh, used 700 bucks for this thing? This is a sick guitar. And it has humbuckers, which we've switched to now for some variety. So that is just a, a machine of a sound. This is where we started, just a clean sound. A little bit of amp overdrive. Any kind of amp, any, any amp overdrive, just a little bit of clipping. And it's sort of like a compressor would do for your clean sound. It just makes things a little bit more smooth and easily accessible. The ergonomics become slightly easier for some reason with these pedals, and that's why they fit into any guitar rig and kind of upgrade them. Moving on to the X Factor side of things, this is where you really just have to experiment. <laughs> Just ridiculous. There is a time and a place for it. we have to turn all of them on at once, right? And before we shake one of these guitars off the wall, we'll stop there. Your rig was just upgraded for less than $500. Thanks to these guitar pedals, this strap, these strings, doesn't matter what guitar or amp you have, if you're working with these pedals, you're gonna have a great time.